Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Gold can exist in small, microscopic particles within certain types of rocks and minerals. These tiny particles of gold are often not visible to the naked eye and require specialized equipment and techniques to extract. The process of extracting gold from such ores is known as gold ore processing and it typically involves crushing the rock chemically treating it, and using various methods to separate the gold from the surrounding material. This is commonly done in mining operations to extract gold from its host rock. Occurrence Microscopic gold can be found in various types of geological formations including quartz veins, sulfide ores, and sedimentary rocks. It often occurs in conjunction with other minerals like pyrite, chalcopyrite or arsenopyrite. Gold grades, the amount of gold in these rocks can vary widely. Some deposits may contain only trace amounts of gold, while others can have significant concentrations. Mining techniques, extracting microscopic gold from stone, can be challenging and expensive. Miners often employ methods such as crushing, grinding, and chemical processes to liberate the gold particles from the host rock. Microscopy and analysis To confirm the presence of microscopic gold, geologists and mineralogists use specialized microscopes and analytical techniques. These tools allow them to study the mineralogy and distribution of gold within the rock. Economic significance Microscopic gold deposits can be economically viable if the gold concentration is high enough. Mining operations invest in exploration and analysis to determine the potential profitability of extracting gold from these rocks. Processing. Once gold is extracted from the stone, it goes through further processing to refine and purify it. This can involve techniques like smelting or chemical processes to produce pure gold. Natural formation, microscopic gold and stone, often forms over geological time through a combination of geological processes, including hydrothermal activity, weathering, and deposition. These processes can lead to the formation of gold-bearing minerals and ores. Geographic distribution. Gold deposits can be found in different regions around the world. Some well-known gold mining areas include the Witwatersrand Basin in South Africa, Carlin Trend in Nevada, USA and Super Pit in Western Australia, and a lot of land in Africa and Asia. Here I will start by confirming the presence of gold. We will need white vinegar. Then pour it on a sample of these stones. This method is good and may save us a lot of fatigue and trouble. Before starting the gold extraction process, I recommend it to everyone. Sometimes it will save us time and effort. So we cover the sample to be examined with white vinegar. Now we will leave it aside for a day or more until the gold appears. Since I know that this stone contains a percentage of gold, Warning the process shown in this video involves highly corrosive acids and should only done outside or in a fume hood. Using safety gear such as gloves, goggles, and a respirator is mandatory. Please like and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to click on the bell icon to get new video updates. We will use methods such as crushing, grinding, and chemical processes to release gold particles from the host rock.
please like and subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to click on the bell icon to get new video updates.